So today I'm going to be talking about securing advanced uh, metering infrastructures. And uh, the reason we, I bring up this topic, uh, I work on a number of other ones, is because this, um, you know, one could see is an instance of IoT or a precursor to IoT because it has similar characteristics and similar challenges. Um, probably most of you know what an advanced metering infrastructure is, but um, just as a quick uh, refresher, it's uh, basically smart meters uh, for, uh, on your homes uh, to measure electricity usage. And they're smart because they can talk back to the utility and receive commands, which previously somebody had to read, come and read them. Um, and typically, as I have uh, in the figure at the bottom, um, these meters uh, talk to each other over a mesh network go to an access point, and then the, from the access point talks to the uh, utility on a, um, any, any backend network, uh, any wide area backend, could be um, cellular or could be something else. Um, so um, these um, meters have uh, sensitive data coming to them and going from them. Uh, the first one is real-time usage um, of power usage in a house. Um, it's privacy sensitive. Um, you might be aware, and California had issues about these things going on the houses as well for privacy reasons. Uh, given the granularity, um, a certain granularity of reporting, you can actually um, know what people are doing in the house if somebody gets access to the data. Uh, some research papers show um, even you can tell what TV program they're watching uh, if you have information on, on, on the kind of TV they have and so on. Um, so the other reason uh, these things are critical is because um, they can receive a command from the utility for remote disconnecting uh, for people who are falling behind payments or if they discover there are grow operations. Apparently, Vancouver, um, Canada, that was the biggest um, um, case for putting these uh, smart meters. Um, anyway, so that's a security sensitive operation because if somebody um, gets into the system, they can turn off an entire neighborhood or even a larger area. So um, security is critical. Um, and um, people have worked on it, uh, key management issues, um, keeping it within the capabilities of the device. One of the things we focused is, um, even though you have these security protection mechanisms in place, these devices are exposed, and people have incentives to um, uh, mess with these devices, uh, you know, to, to falsely report your usage and so on. Um, so the, the, our research focused on how do we do intrusion detection in these um, networks. Um, and two problems we worked on is, what is the right kind of a security architecture for intrusion detection? Where do I put the sensors? What's the effectiveness? What's the cost uh, benefit? So as you can see, um, on the corner down there, we have a graph showing uh, we compared uh, a centralized architecture versus a dedicated architecture where, there are, where the sensors are separate uh, but are deployed in the, um, in the network, and an embedded architecture where the intrusion detection sensor is um, built into the smart meter. Um, some very interesting results, and this is a modeling framework uh, where we can see which architecture works for what conditions. Um, in, in, in all cases, we know uh, the dedicated and embedded work better than centralized, uh, but between embedded and dedicated, depending on whether it's an urban environment where there is a lot of density of meters uh, versus it's a rural environment where the meters are sort of more or less like a tree or a straight line, uh, embedded versus dedicated work better. Um, the other challenge we worked on is because AMIs carry sensitive traffic and the traffic is protected, how do we do intrusion detection on encrypted traffic? So we are looking at machine learning algorithms. We had a paper on that recently. Uh, but now we are working on uh, doing intrusion detection using searchable encryption over this encrypted traffic. Um, so the connection to IoT, as I mentioned, so the top graph, the blue uh, figure, is showing a pilot deployment of an AMI and the connectivity um, in the pilot deployment. Um, I believe there are about 30,000 meters connected to an access point in that picture, so you can see. Um, so it's a lot of meters, and we have to work with this. Uh, but with IoT, it's going to be even bigger systems, and the connections are not going to be that pretty. Um, AMI is a very specific uh, mission-oriented network. It's not connected to the internet for the most part, not the neighborhood area networks anyway. Uh, but IoT changes that, and it opens a um, uh, lot more challenges for us.